Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chloe. I'm a recent graduate of UCLA with a joint bachelor's degree in art history and Egyptology and a joint master's degree in Egyptology. And today I thought I would review and give an honest perspective of my experience at UCLA as a transfer student. So I think it's so important to share our personal experiences our challenges and what we overcame. I know when I transferred in, I felt like I was the only one experiencing some of these feelings and that others had their lives together and they knew what they wanted to do and I was so behind and I only had two years so I had to make the most out of it. So I wanted to make this as a resource for others who are struggling in the same way and just to give a perspective of what I went through. So if you like this, please like and subscribe and leave a comment of what other videos you would like to see and if you have any questions. I am really hoping to make another video talking about um, my grad program specifically. Um, so I'm gonna save some of that side of my experience for that video but without further ado, let's get into the video. So I transferred in fall of 2017 and I ended up staying at UCLA for three years. And in those three years, I double majored in art history and Egyptology. I got into UCLA's Departmental Scholars Program where I took graduate coursework alongside my undergraduate coursework and I graduated with my master's degree as well. I had two campus jobs, one at the Graduate School of Education and then one at the Hammer Museum as a student educator. I was involved in some volunteer op opportunities. Um, I did independent research. I created, did an honors thesis. Um, I did a lot, but I feel like not a lot of people talk about how they were actually able to do these things. You know, they say they did all these things um, in conversation, but you don't have the time to get into um, how. And it seems like, wow, they can do everything, but I can't. And that's definitely how I felt when I transferred. Um, so I just thought I'd share some of my um, personal experiences with it. So when I first came into UCLA, I came in just as an art history major and intended on doing the visual and performing arts education minor, or as it's known, VAPA. So at the time coming in, I really struggled academically to find my place. I went from having a almost 4.0 at community college and really knowing what I was doing there to feeling totally lost. Like everyone else had their life figured out and here I am, I'm a transfer student and I don't know what I'm doing. I knew I wanted to work in museums, so I knew I needed to get a master's degree, um, but that was about it. I was really not sure what I wanted to study um, as like a subset, like a focus um, in my art history classes, which I knew I needed to go to grad school. Um, I was really confused. So there was some things going on in the department. They had just, um, their student affairs officer had just left and they were getting a new one. And so they were in transition. And so that there was that. Um, I also came from community college where all of my art history classes were general survey courses. And so really broad um, subject matter. And then I'm coming to UCLA where they have a global perspective of art history. They have classes like Caribbean art and architecture and urbanism and Africa and all these things I had never been exposed to. And so I wanted to try everything, but I knew I needed to niche down. So I was really confused and I was doing too much. When I first came to UCLA, I was working I tried to join every single club possible and didn't find my place there. I felt like I wasn't, wasn't making connections with professors and I felt like everyone else was. 
and I felt like I was really behind. And I thought, okay, if I want to go to grad school, I have to apply fall of my senior year. So I only have a year to figure this out, which yes and no. Um, I was trying to do too much and spread myself too thin and didn't perform super well my first quarter. When I scaled back a little bit, winter quarter, I ended up with a 4.0. Um, I was able to recover and I started thinking, what is it that I've always been passionate about? And for me, it was Egyptian art. And you cannot study Egyptian art without studying the rest of the culture. So I decided I wanted to double major and I went and met with the student affairs officer in the Department of Near Eastern Languages and Cultures, which is what Egyptology is under. And I said, hey, can I do this? And at UCLA, art history is not a super course heavy major and neither was Egyptology and you could overlap five classes. And as long as it's a major that they are easily transferable, you know, neuroscience and art history, there aren't, you know, a ton of classes that will overlap. And so I was able to do that. So I started taking classes that could overlap um, summer between my junior and senior year. Um, declared my double major fall of my senior year. And really once I found that, and once I became a double major, that's when I was able to really grow. I found out I loved research. I found a subject I was really excited by. And I found that UCLA had the Departmental Scholars Program, which was a program where you take graduate coursework alongside your undergraduate coursework. And so you graduate with your master's alongside your bachelor's. And I said, I want to do this. I found what excited me, what I couldn't shut up about. I'm so sorry to all my roommates and people who lived with me for that, but I was really excited by it. And I was very lucky that I was able to find an advisor who encouraged me to apply for undergraduate research week to present my research um, in a poster session. And then she also nominated me to do an oral presentation so I could practice my public speaking skills. Um, so I kind of stumbled upon things, but it took a lot of trial and error. And honestly, I'll speak more about my departmental scholar experience in another video, um, more of the pros and cons of a one-year master's program. But I even within that department felt like I had one foot in each department, that I was an art historian in an Egyptology department. And then in art history, I was really an Egyptologist and um, not taking a lot of classes with the rest of the Egypt or the art history faculty. And so I will say, honestly, I felt disconnected, even though I had great opportunities. And on a social note, I will say my last year, I felt really isolated. I ended up staying for a third year. Um, I felt really isolated. Um, again, I'll talk more about that in my pros and cons of a one-year program. But all of my friends that I had made in the dorms, my best friends were from the dorms and my classes. They all graduated and left. And so I was, here I was, um, you know, a super senior, so to speak, a third year um, transfer. But then I was all by, I was all by myself. So I will be honest about that. Um, but I kept myself very busy working two jobs as well as keeping up with my academics. I worked as a student educator at the Hammer Museum, which is UCLA's Contemporary Art Museum. And I did that for two years and it was honestly my favorite experience I had at UCLA. It was so fulfilling. So essentially we worked with the academic programs department and it's a year long program where you learn about gallery teaching and you um, have trainings every other week learning different pedagogy and how to have certain conversations and you guide visitors through the galleries and you're a tour guide but you, we do conversational tours. And that was really fulfilling for me um, as something to do, as someone who became really passionate about museum education alongside my 
research and really rigorous academics that I was able to have this thing on the side that it was a job, but it never felt like a job because I enjoyed it so much. And personally, on a friend's note and getting involved with UCLA um, outside of academics, I loved the UCLA transfer community. I think 90% of my friends were transfer students. I felt like the transfer community that you find on the Facebook group was so supportive. And I felt like anytime you met a transfer student, they were so willing to help because they know how it is to be a transfer and how you feel like that imposter syndrome is real and how you feel like you're on the back foot coming in. And I was so thankful to spend you know, my first year in the transfer dorms because of that, to share that experience with you know, whole floor and whole building of everyone going through the same thing that you are, that you're new to the school, you're still figuring out where buildings are, what resources are available to you, but you're also not a freshman, you're older. Um, and also our backgrounds were so diverse. You know, we had people who were 19 to 30 on our floor and with such a range of life experiences that I'm so thankful that I was able to have that experience as a transfer. But I will say as a transfer, I had to be very scrappy about looking for resources and learning where to find those. And so I learned that you have to be a self-starter in that way, that your UCLA experience will be what you make of it. Um, if you don't look for resources, they're not going to find you always. Um, I found our orientation as a transfer, you only have a year or you only have a day, whereas first years, they have a whole week or a few days and they're exposed to a lot more resources than I think transfers are. In retrospect, I know UCLA has a course called University Studies that's geared for transfers that tells you the resources, you know, how to get involved with a research librarian how to figure out how to work the library since our library system is really big and it can be kind of con convoluted or things like the research center or writing center. So those are things that I had to find along the way or how to get involved in undergraduate research as a transfer or how to get involved in undergraduate research in general. Um, I'm actually thinking of making a whole separate video on that, um, whether you're at UCLA or elsewhere. I think knowing what kinds of things to look for if you're interested in that or how to find out if you're interested in that are things that I learned along the way that were never told to me, um, that it really took a lot of me having the willingness to put myself out there and learning how to ask for help was probably the biggest thing I took away from my experience at UCLA. So all in all, I will say I loved my experience at UCLA. It definitely had its ups and downs as any experience would, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I was able to work with such incredible faculty that, you know, I don't think I would have gotten the same experiences elsewhere. I was so lucky that I also found a great group of supportive mentors that you know were beyond just a professor but a mentor and I also had incredible peers um Kaylin my best friend and Zach they my two closest friends that I made at UCLA you know were sounding boards for my research and would read my papers but also I found such a great community of people that when I needed a coffee break or ice cream an ice cream run at 10 p.m. You know, I had my people that I could call and I'm so thankful, especially for that transfer community and for the transfer center that knows this experience and has resources geared toward us. Um, so all in all, an absolutely wonderful experience. You don't get a more beautiful campus than UCLA. I'm so thankful for my time there. 
And for any new transfers or students that are considering transferring to UCLA, I hope this video is helpful. Or if you're not even thinking about UCLA, but just trying to understand how people find their way, um, how they're able to do everything in a short period of time, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if not, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.